My name is Dr. Harold Katz. I'm the founder of the California Breath Clinics, and I'm a dentist. I went to UCLA School of Dentistry. I also have a separate degree in bacteriology, also from UCLA, and um, I specialize in treating bad breath. I started doing so uh, over 20 years ago when my own daughter had a problem with bad breath, and I couldn't find anything to help her. So um, after trial and error, we created an oxygenating formula called TheraBreath, and now I'm able to travel all over the world, including beautiful places like Thailand. What happened, as I mentioned before, my daughter had a problem, and up until that time, almost every mouthwash contained alcohol. Uh, from my chemical background, I know that alcohol is a drying agent, and once your mouth is dry, which was my daughter's problem, that dryness made the breath worse instead of better. So I knew immediately we could not put any alcohol in a product to help my daughter. Secondly, many toothpastes have an ingredient called sodium lauryl sulfate. That's detergent, uh, like soap. It's put into toothpaste to make it foam up. So I knew right away that's another ingredient that could not be put into the formula. So after working with chemists who were involved in oral products, we came up with a patented oral product which, re which actually produces oxygen inside the mouth. Oxygen is the natural enemy of the anaerobic bacteria that cause bad breath. So we're actually introducing something that attacks the problem instead of just covering it up. Oh, there are many factors that cause halitosis. Halitosis is actually a technical term for chronic bad breath. As opposed to bad breath you get from eating onions or garlic, halitosis involves bacteria. And these bacteria live in the back of the tongue, throat, and tonsils. So anything you put inside your mouth can affect those bacteria. For instance, uh, if you drink a lot of milk or eat cheese, the process by which the bacteria create odors is breaking down proteins. The bacteria love dairy protein, so the more milk and cheese one eats, the greater chance they will have of having a sour milk odor. Another example, if people smoke, smoking makes the mouth very dry, the bacteria can sense the difference. Once the mouth is dry, the bacteria produce more sulfur compounds. Uh, another example would be alcohol. People drink alcohol during the day. Alcohol is a drying agent which can make the breath much worse. So a lot of factors go into the halitosis. The most common one, of course, is morning breath. When people wake up in the morning, they realize their breath is foul, doesn't smell good. That's because we don't produce saliva when we sleep. Saliva is nature's way of keeping our breath fresh. You wake up in the morning with a dry mouth and sulfur has been produced throughout the night. Uh, many studies have been done on using alcohol and mouthwash. One of the big problems is people who abuse it by using it several times a day. A study done at a dental journal in Australia pointed out the fact that people who used a mouthwash with alcohol several times a day had a much higher incidence of oral cancer. Same thing with people who smoke cigarettes. Uh, in the U.S., the use of alcohol-based mouthwashes have gone way down for a number of reasons. One, it actually hurts the oral tissue. It's much too strong for most people. Children should not use it. And if someone is diabetic, if they have diabetes, they should never use mouthwash with alcohol because it creates damage on the inner lining of the mouth. We recently did studies on our products uh, because we now sell them in Europe and they required a special type of study which we did at Princeton. And what we learned is that uh, almost everyone in the study had fresh breath for 13 hours with just one use of the mouthwash or the toothpaste. Furthermore, more than half of the people in the study had fresh breath for up to 24 hours just with one use. So we know that it works throughout the night. Uh, most people only need to use it two times a day. They don't need to use it all the time. Other mouthwashes work not attacking the source of the problem, but covering it up with very strong flavors. Again, to have the strong flavor, they need to use alcohol in it, which defeats the entire purpose. 
which makes the mouth dry. So we know for a fact that our mouthwash works instantly and lasts for the longest time. People always ask me, can you explain why some people have bad breath, have, have halitosis, and some people don't? Well, there's many factors involved. Number one is physical. If someone has a rougher tongue, they have more chance of having the halitosis because the tongue traps bacteria. Secondly, if they have large tonsils in the throat, also a greater chance of having bad breath because of trapping bacteria. In fact, people with large tonsils have a condition called tonsil stones, where mucus drains down the throat and gets trapped into the tonsils. The TheraBreath formulas work very good for this, where someone doesn't need surgery to have the tonsils taken out, the TheraBreath can clean that out. Another problem if people do have allergies and produce a lot of mucus. Mucus is proteins, and again, the proteins are used as fuel by the bacteria. So if someone has that type of problem, uh, TheraBreath formulas are very good for that. Another problem has to do with foods. We know onions and garlic give people bad breath. They already contain sulfur compounds. Same thing with curry. There's sulfur compounds in those molecules. But another hidden source are dairy foods. So people should be very careful about milk, cheese, ice cream, especially if they're lactose intolerant, they may end up with sour milk smell. Another problem has to do with medications. A major problem today is people are taking several medications at a time. Antihistamines, antidepressants, high blood pressure medicine, all of those have dry mouth as a side effect and that will contribute to bad breath. We always tell our patients, obviously, to use the TheraBreath products at least twice daily, but also make sure to drink plenty of water, uh, stay away from sugars and foods that you eat, including chewing gum and breath mints, if they contain sugar, that's going to feed the bacteria and make the problem worse. So very simple things to do. Brush for two minutes at a time. Always use a soft nylon toothbrush, never a hard or medium bristle, and make sure you floss at least once a day. Food particles stuck between the teeth also can act as a fuel source for the bacteria. When it comes to oral products, uh, TheraBreath products are natural. There's no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no saccharin. Uh, we use natural sweeteners like xylitol, which has anti-decay properties, and our toothpaste has fluoride to really stop tooth decay. So the use of that as the, your basic oral product will freshen your breath. Uh, it's great for the gums, make you feel much more confident about yourself.